Hello Luigi. Today we are finally importing the weakless. The tree is getting more alive. Here we are. I think I still want to vertex color him, so this won't be the actual final model here. Hello Droid, hello Lo. Welcome to the stream. Yep, we're gonna be making wiggles today. Give it some more color depth with vertex colors here. That already looks a lot better. Hello, Liliana. Hello, Beta. I won't get murdered by Strangle. She likes me way too much. She just says that, so she doesn't seem too clingy. She, in reality, she just loves me. She just pretends to want to murder me. That's what girls do when they like you. They keep calling you stupid. They keep telling you that they want to murder you. Hello, Clayman. Hello, James. Are you moving to Canada? I am already in Canada. You don't know about that? Oh, trust me, I'm an expert on girls. No music today? Yes, music today, but I, I have to pick an OST. I was too busy with my wake light to pick an OST. Whoops. Today is Wiggler Wednesday. Okay, you know what? I'm calling the stream Wiggler Wednesday. No, it's not gonna be semen. It's gonna be quark with milk and it's very disgusting. It looks like cum, but it's actually just sour milk basically. <laughs> but it's very healthy for you. Oh. 
All right, that looks good. Um, could you guys stop saying Wiggler with an ER? Wiggler's our word. You can say Wiggler with an A. Okay, what should we listen to today? My YouTube suggestions are completely fucked. I, I, I need an idea here. My suggestions say nothing. Should listen to your new song? Okay. Aggie's new song. How do I find it? I looked for Master A official, but I can't find it. Mario plus Rabbits OST? Okay. Soundcloud.com. Aggie's new song. Master A music. Ah. Why is there no sound coming? Oh, shit, it's on my headphones. Wait, there's still no sound coming. This is Mario and Rabbits. Where's Aggie's song? Oh, there it is. It's called Hello World. Not quite my style. But it's getting better. It's better than the last time I heard you rap. Eggy is getting gassed up. Sorry, but this is poop. Well, <laughs> the song is inducing violent tendencies in you. All right, I'm sorry, Aki, but it seems my stream is not on board with it. This is the sus music. Two seventy-eight triangles. This is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bones. Ten bones. That's not good. How do we animate his walk? If each of these only has one bone, how can we animate his walk? How does it look like in Mario sixty-four? Donation from Beta. Let's go. Might post a 300 pound bench later to the shimes of Erica. I haven't posted in a while on Instagram. Wait, so how are his legs animated? I don't quite get it. They just rotate back and forth. Erika. On oh, you bench 300. Friend, it's easy. I can do 350 now. Shit. 
shit, it's hard to see the wiggler. Huh? What the fuck is a Russian get up? I actually do my rep sets with 230 right now. 12 reps of 230. Strong and pursuing means literally nothing. Great. 50 reps of 300 pounds? I don't think there's a human being on the planet that can do that. I don't reps at 215. You can actually use a strength calculator here. And if you put 215 in, uh, let's say you return it and you can do a 15, 400 reps, that would mean your one rep max is around 900 pounds. <laughs> I don't think you can bench 932 pounds. <laughs> it's a little bit ridiculous. Okay, I think in order for this animation to look anything decent at all, the request like need to be kind of like this. Hmm. Ah, yes. Okay. Interesting. Mr. Blood on his feet. He's just wearing shoes. Well, your body weight and age doesn't matter. Only your reps and your weight for the rep matters. Right, the body weight and the other thing is just there to compare to other lifters. I don't know if this is better. We go, we go. Man, animating this is gonna be awful. Doesn't he usually have four body parts plus head? Yeah, but these are small ones. Not every bar weighs 45 pounds. But like, at official competitions, the bar weighs 45 pounds. Maybe we're just going with two body parts. The mini wiggler. Yeah, the one I have on weighs only 18 pounds. And it's bending like shit. See, the issue is, we have three body parts, right? And two of these legs are gonna be in sync. So it will look weird with two of them being in sync and one being not in sync, right? I think I'm reducing it to two. And then we have a bunch of small mini wigglers around. Hello, buzzard. This looks cursed. Is it really that bad? It's just a baby wiggler. Or we can turn the wig what if we turn the wiggler into a caterpillar? Like so. 
It'll look like Caterpillar. And then it moves like a Caterpillar too. I'm making a wig like Caterpillar. I like this idea now. I mean, it's autumn, right? Isn't that when the Caterpillars come out? Is that what they do? I have to research this. Range from spring, summer, or fall. Depends on the species. Female later, except once. Okay, so just not in winter. Sounds good. Okay, maybe. Just gonna see the coming of history. Mm hmm. So when does that happen? Hmm. If that would definitely, well, yes, but now they actually move like caterpillars, I guess. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know, man, I'm just trying to make this work somehow. The problem is if we do this, it's, it's just too much. Too many animated bones. I mean, I guess it could work, but like, mm -hmm. you also have to keep in mind these will be really small wigglers. Are there small wigglers in the Mario universe? Is there anything during spring and summer? Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. There's no progress in this level. What if you do two seconds, but the five seconds are smaller than the head? Are there small wigglers? New Super Mario Bros. Small Wiggler? Let's see. He's a giant. Oh. These exist. Wiggler, ah. And a free body segment, aha, uh aha. -huh. Uh -huh. I knew it. And the head is twice the size of the rest. Got it. Yeah, that, that looks weird. How's this? Did I actually find a squiggler? Wait. This? Oh. Wait a second. I gotta find a video of these guys. They actually don't have any legs. Hmm. 
Seven A's, what they say? Okay, these things are cute by making those. And they have a sprout instead of a flower that is also easily arranged. Got a squiggler. <clears throat> Basically, flume bus. I see. Oh, oh, I see. I'm surprised there's an actual model file here. So we gotta make him a bit paler. I think rosy cheeks are not going to happen. I'll be real with you. But we can do the other things. What? Why? Because that'd be more difficult to make and I don't wanna. Actually, I guess I could do it. This texture's kinda on wrong anyway. Fine, I'll do it. I have an idea on how to do it. No, with the Redux house it'd be more difficult, uh, but I can just edit the texture. I mean, there's this thing anyway, and I want to get rid of it, so I have to edit this anyway. So I don't mind. <clears throat> what? Maybe add the cheeks to your and eye texture. That is exactly the plan.
Let's try it. Happy Wiggler Wednesday. <laughs> Hello, Holly. Skip the live stream? Why would you do that? How rude of you. is wrong What do you think? Y'all having a good Wiglow Wednesday? Hey Mushy. Let's remember the good half of the hat. Yes, but we're good. Sheiks should be bigger? They're giant. Needs more nose polygons? Nah. Hello, Mushi. Wait, I'm glad you mean that one racist character from Super Mario 6 from Madness. <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. The rosy. Okay. That is actually true. Luckily, that is very easily arranged. There we go. He is adorable. And you will murder this baby for no reason other than him existing. Did Reddit say I was racist? I thought I was just transphobic and hated minorities. Actually, I guess if I hate minorities. Are non-white people minorities? I actually don't know. I guess in Germany they are. There was one Reddit thread telling people about how much I hate minorities and women and all that stuff. 
yes. I mean, people disagreed with him, but it was still there. You've got the body patches? What's wrong with the body patches? Aren't they supposed to be like this? Yeah, exactly. I met KZIL once. I told him I was like, expect him to say thanks or something, but instead he grabbed me by the legs and flung up 30 feet in the air. Once I hit the 30 feet, he jumped up and punched me so hard I crashed into the ground. If you go to five guys in Nevada, you can still see the holders in the shape of my body in the pavement from where I landed. I don't think they filled it in. <laughs> I said you were a hoe, but that wouldn't make me tra a transfer, that would just make me hate women. You hoe. I know, I know, look. Did my answer sound serious? What if you just hated that one particular woman? See, that's also fair, but I think you're not allowed to call women hoes anymore, because, like, that implies there's something wrong with fucking around. I married a woman so I could have more children and spread my ideology of um, sexism and and uh, transphobia to them. <laughs> no, I do not know if that's subreddit. I'm not listening to someone who supports the death. Fair. Honestly, good on you. Should this be like so? What do you think? Does this look better? Okay, see, so why didn't you marry a man? So I could have more children and indoctrinate them with my ideology of transphobia and sexism. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Just to make sure I'm kidding. Please don't ban me. Clipped it, sending it to Reddit. You're done. I already posted it on Twitter. Such that is only comparison between women and gardening tools is such an instrument. <laughs> okay. You like the baby wiggler? 
This is worth knowing. Hot bath can burn as many calories as a 30 minute work. False. One study found that men who spend an hour in the burn three calories when their blood sugar levels throughout the following day and display anything. No, that's false. I'm pretty sure. Where's the study? They didn't link the study. Why would I believe this? I don't trust anything that just claims a study found. Right now we're not talking about women and that stuff. I mean by me being honest and surprised that developers have created the study for the the drugs. At an ending where you enter the back rooms and get killed by bacteria. What? Maybe I will play that game actually. I like the first one. Now whenever someone makes a ridiculous claim that is instinctively wrong, I need either like some sort of mathematical proof or a study, depending on what they're claiming. And that claim they just made definitely needs a study. Where's the study? Oh, here. Which one of these is the study? Is this what? Which one's ad and which one's the study? Journal of Psychology. Do you interest in the function? Mm hmm. In sedentary humans. All right. This already. This already excludes anyone who actually walks or gets up from their chair sometimes. Where's the other one? Is, is this what he's... We investigated. Alright. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Moderate cycling and a fixed rate of metabolic gear. Overall mimation or the increase from basic additions. Difference between pH. <laughs> well, this says nothing about losing weight. This says something about body pH and some body measurements. And they used 14 people. Study with 14 people, anything can happen. That's why you investigate the sources. There. Now you guys have increased understanding of how to actually read science articles. You don't just trust them. This is how I live my everyday life. Some may say I'm schizophrenic, I say I'm just thorough. What's wrong with the 14 people study? Uh, 14 people is too low a sample size. For example, do this experiment by yourself. Every morning you get up and you measure your weight, right? It's gonna fluctuate by like one or two pounds every day. If you do this 14 times, then um, the weight you can get is like, like the average can be either like at the upper end or the lower end. There's gonna be a difference of like one or two pounds depending on which 14 days you do this in. And depending on what you drank the prior day or stuff like that, right? Or these 14 people, you know, what if just one of these 14 people randomly also on the side decided to start exercising? That's already gonna completely fucked us. Because you have two study groups of seven people each, right? Anything with seven people, basically anything can happen. Right? What if one of the seven people ends up in the car crash or something? 
it's like there's too much variability so it doesn't make sense with such a low sample size and then you also have to keep in mind what if you do a study 10 times and if every 10 of the times you just do it with seven people right let's say i take a dice and i roll the dice uh, seven times and i repeat that 10 times i will find one of the 10 rolls that has an average value of like 4.5 and then concluding oh the average roll of a dice is 4.5 that would just be wrong I just want to ask, is this worth it? Let's see. Where's the nutrition facts? <laughs> Where's the nutrition facts? Nutrition facts and ingredients. It's literally soda. How much is 16 ounce? 16 ounce to 2 ml. Oh, actually, that's not soda. That's actually better than soda. Stevia. Oh god, this is with artificial sweetness. What, what do they mean, no artificial sweetness? It's literally stevia. They're lying. Don't trust them. Stevia is not artificial. What? Of course stevia is an artificial sweetener. Here. These things are made from the liver and water under the and there's no carbohydrates. It's an artificial sweetener. Made of leaves though? Who cares? It has no artificial ingredients. Yeah. I mean poison dart frogs are also not artificial, but they're gonna kill you if you eat them. No, artificial sweetness means it's a sweetener that tastes sweet, but it doesn't take the same pathway that mono sugars do. <laughs> what about a drink made from roses that doesn't sound very tasty but if you're into that people that create chemicals and artificial with bad yeah i think the legal ingredient means you can say it's all natural or something yeah that's just it's just a common thought mistake, I guess. In case you're still interested in making awful video essays. <laughs> I don't wanna. <laughs> oh, this one's pretty. It's way too high resolution. Baba flowers of a Goomba mask? True, actually. What will your rent Sona be? It's gotta be like a smug anime girl. Yeah, that's true, Beta. You are entirely correct. You know, when there's a product and the product advertises that there's no GMOs in it, I'm actually less likely to buy it. Because I'm like, what? You didn't even genetically modify this thing? Did you even try? Why are you trying to sell me shit? How does it make it better? It's like buying a PC and the PC on the box says, oh, it's all mechanical. Like, oh, you, you didn't even, like, you didn't even use modern technology? <laughs> it's made out of wood. <laughs> Is we gonna put the PC port for? Oh god, no! I will not even read the end of that comment. Uh. 
Punch him off for this point if you want to go back to the Asian animals while temporarily eating food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. You yeah, remember when GM over gonna solve world hunger? I feel like, yeah, if... I mean, there could definitely be a step towards that. We could sustain more people with fully GMO food. I mean, obviously, it's just gonna help me. But you're not gonna solve world hunger by, by doing anything, really, other than by stopping people from reproducing. <laughs> It's a simple Lotka Volterra rule. It's the combine. What? When you change the leaf? Because this is better. It's got a bit more resolution, and actually, maybe the other one's better. But I gotta scale it down. Because the other one looks really blurry and shitty, but it's really big, which is a bit inefficient. I think the other one looks better, I just need to scale it down. That's my verdict. Yeah, you see this? This is what I want. Hello, Lies. I am pretty good. <clears throat> he drank pool water. Bill Gates caused the snow in my hometown, I'll never forgive him. <laughs> Fucking Billy Boy is back at it. With the fake snow. Unbelievable. The sky is falling, damn you, Bill Gates. Why would you do this to me? There we go. Now we got the squiggler. No! There we go, squiggler. My child made his first snowman, damn you, Bill Gates! <laughs> Hello, fun, Baba. It's going pretty well. I have a legal version of Windows. We'll spawn from the holes in the tree. Now it's just gonna be around for one coin. Yes, I paid for Windows. I did not even know that there was a good alternative.
Why all scripts dumped in a single file? Why not? What is your issue with this? Oh yeah, I did not even tell you, but the last two or three days over the weekend, I ended up introducing a few new concepts to the source code here. I um, went through a lot of code and we added some new identifiers to functions that tell the compiler a few nice things. I guess I can't find them here. Right, we have like const functions now, which um, I'm not gonna get into it, but these all, they save like a few bytes each. And overall, I made the entire source code almost like four kilobytes less, which is really good. And it runs slightly faster. And I figured out a few things about memory allocation that saved another 0.2 milliseconds on the whole frame render, which means we get 43 FPS now. Which is really good. This has done ASM for long, this has nothing to do with extra programs for a long time now. Wait, what? <laughs> what if you say you're gonna change something and like random? No, that can't happen. I know my entire source code. If anything breaks, I will know why and where usually it's very rare that something breaks and i don't know why you can redo the render and make it much better Mm, you could switch to RSP matrix multiplications, which might be faster, but I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't really adhere to the normal rules of programming. I do like my own thing. I think it's faster. The problem is you have to upload all the matrices to the RSP before you can multiply them. And you also have to switch to integer matrices. So the multiplications might become a bit inaccurate. What's the main worry? I don't think it will be an issue, but it might be an issue. Some on the SP and not all of them. That's a bit un that's definitely not gonna be better. Where are my squigglers? There's my squiggler. How should the squigglers behave? Hey, Vulcan. I think we're all pretty well. We're working on squigglers and they're very adorable. Biovex plus one is not in the game already. I don't think he's finished yet. Yep, we're reworking, or we're still working on the Q1064 tree. Right now, we're adding these. Can you believe I'm doing this whole thing on an Atari? I can't. This is not true. You should go around the circles. Yeah, yeah. The most light a spawn point. You will spawn on a different tree, and you can enter so this by a. To say hi. Cool Yo, face. Zena! Hi, cool face. <clears throat> Zena Manuel. Zena, look what we're working on today. Baby Wiggler. My really doesn't need as well, he probably doesn't need any more. <laughs> hmm. 
Baby Wiggler is very cute. It's a caterpillar, it's a baby wiggler, Lina. Alright, let's see. Um, caterpillar, worm around in circles. If Mario approaches, worm edge Mario deal 2 damage on it. Make Mario bounce off of body parts and how do you kill them? Just jumping on their head? How does it feel to live with a man who stays up all night thinking about it? <laughs> yep. Spandy, only fence accounts. No, thank you. Okay, so what if you have to jump on them twice, and the first time you jump on them they get really fast, and the second time they die? Okay. First bounce, they become mad. Second bounce, they die. Oh, now Zayna, how sad. Go get that money though. Bye Zayna. Okay, in that case, we need to make it so that he can become angry. That looks about right. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. You think that works for the angry look? <clears throat> they should become scared instead of mad. Hmm. How do we do that? Hello, Jinxie. That does look a bit scared. But then where does he run to? Just away from Mario on a straight line? Actually, baby wigglers don't even have mouse. And honestly, <laughs> that is very good for us right now. Okay, we'll make them blue and have tears come out of their eyes. Become sad, turn blue, tears out of eyes. Uh, starts running away. Goes faster, 
if you don't jump on it again, it will just burn off the tree and become unkillable. You weighed in at 250. I was 201.5 today. Wait, is, is 250 good or bad for you? Bad. Oh, shit. Well, just start working out. It's very easy to lose weight. Will you cheer up after a while? No. Pounds of zero muscle, that's really bad. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess if you were seven foot tall, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, most likely you want to lose some. Cut out the soda, do a little bit of weightlifting, and yeah, we'll work out. It's basically free to lose weight at your point. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> oh yeah, I heard from the Fast64 main dev today that some of you guys are talking shit about them because of the Fast64 bug meme here. That's not good. You guys need to keep in mind, when I complain about Fast64 bugs, we're memeing. We're not s serious here. And um, you have to realize that Fast64 pretty much makes everything we do way easier so without fast 64 we'd be fucked right so just just because i complain about a fast 64 bug doesn't mean people should talk trash about fast 64 because it's by far the best we got did i from watching you yeah i realized that and that's a problem <laughs> Have some free money? I'd love to. You got a problem? Fix it. Fuck you. Oh. Yo, thank you for the sub. You are just a bad role model, god damn it. Typical streamer harassment here. Alright. What is the color we need? First of all, is not Fasana? No, no, it's the Cozies. The Cozies is the main def, not Fasana. What fruits are low in sugar? Bananas, carrots, cucumbers, broccoli. I recommend those. They are all very good weight loss foods. Yo, thank you for the money. Bye -bye, you 
Just wish to see some stuff working on N64. Well, the games I do recently all work on N64. So, that's good. Carrots and broccolis are no fruits. Well, the rest I mentioned is still good. <laughs> Uh, we want to preserve exactly this. Okay. Not the 60 FPS more than that is true. That is not a very optimized thing at all. That's actually a thing I did in three hours when I was really tired. I was like, oh, I'm too tired to work on my hack. I'm just going to make 60 FPS more 64. And then everyone loved it. You can bananas, cucumbers, you can enjoy them as much as you want. They're very low sugar fruits. Fazana is the funny guy, but he's not the first 64 death. Apples are somewhat high in carbs. I mean, they're not bad for you, but you know, I wouldn't recommend them must diet. I mean, if your alternative is eating McDonald's, then yes, by all means, go eat an apple. But if you want to get shredded 6% body fat, then go eat a cucumber instead of an apple. But obviously, that's that's not what you want to do. <laughs> Should move between piece of funds and either determined tech like or random questions about the UCI and the castle of the roof. Hmm. I'll probably generate random points around this home and have it moved that way. That's what I typically do for guys like this. And on Nikota. Hello Magic Gamer, things are going really well. We're working on the cutest squiggler in the world. Let's see if this works. Ah oh, shit, compiler bug. Right. We're making a little baby wiggler and he will get sad if you jump on him and run away. <clears throat> nice, nice. He won't change his color. Oh, I know why. Look at it. GASM is over here. Right, I don't know how to do this properly, so I'm just gonna do that. In terms of juice, I would prefer something that I would palette and something that makes me think maybe being fat isn't too bad. Um juice. I mean you can drink some light apple juice, like apple juice diluted with water. It's very tasty. I mean if you're 250 pounds, right? I assume you don't need your diet to be like hundred percent perfect. If you have your diet like 70 to 80% in check, you're easily gonna go down to like 200 pounds in 
little time. Unless you actually have some sort of metabolic issues. Obviously then everything's different and I have no idea what I'm talking about. <clears throat> What the hell? Well, that's definitely an issue. Oh yeah, alcohol is definitely gonna add to the weight as well. But like I said, if you just get 80% to a good diet, you'll be fine. Right, you don't have to completely punish yourself. The idea is not to crash diet, the idea is to just add more good habits to your life. And that will slowly make you converge towards a lower weight. Right, so if you just make one change, that's better. Like drinking more water instead of whatever soda you drank before. Um... Just cutting out soda actually has shown to increase average but decrease average body weight by like five pounds in a year right that's like one easy thing to do and then you do another thing and it's like averaging out to like 15 pounds a year or something right and then over one or two years your weight's just slowly gonna go healthy <clears throat> Yeah, exactly, Sarion. Yes, I am married. Well, obviously, eat less calories, exercise more is a way to do it. But you actually need like a practical approach to eating less calories <laughs> and exercising more, an approach that will actually work for you long term. Because I say like anything that you do that you can't stick to for eternity, just don't even bother. Meme review. Yes. Oh, you want to talk? Oh, let's talk about... What? <laughs> have willpower? Now, if you do it right, you don't need any willpower. It should be possible with no willpower at all. I don't even know what I just watched. Maybe I'm slowly becoming old. The instead effect, the next sibling. Okay, so this is impossible. Can you have a function bone to be the first bone in the whole armature? Had a massive headache three days before you suddenly felt much better. Maybe your body was like getting used to the lower glucose level and your insulin levels had to normalize first. That'd be my guess. Yeah, Buzzard, I think we have people between ages like 13 to 40 and shit. This is a very wild assortment of people. Because yes, it's games and Twitch, which is typically children. But it's also Mario 64 and programming, which is typically adults. So we got the whole range. Do you think you can make the wiggler right after the first hit? I can, and that was the first idea. 
But we have decided to go with blue because he should be scared. Okay, I think something in here is wrong. I think I programmed this wrong somehow. Hmm. Yes. That would do it. So I did everything right. They should go from yellow to blue in a loop now. Yeah, this was not the plan. That looks very, very weird. It's because half of the people in chat are my bots, B Park. That's why people just keep reposting the same comments about the PC board. Meme review, check Discord. Review. Check Discord. I will. Look, it's Pac Man. Waka waka. <laughs> I like that. RGB squiggler for the rave parties. Okay, this is what we want. So that's how he looks when he. This is good. Yes, he goes sad. He looks like this. What the fuck just happened? And then. It... Hmm. Okay, this is the last link I'm, last link I'm clicking. <laughs> Cursed. That's it. No more links, unless you guess me review. Oh. I just watched the April 9th video. Very impressive. So you're saying your mod and are running on an N6 router? Yes. They are. Quick meme review. I can show you in a second if you want. <laughs> yeah, there was no semblance of cleverness or funny in there. And there was screaming and nonsense. But it was still funny to me. Maybe because I am a little kid. All right. I mean, he just slowly turns blue now. Red? Oh, I see. So this just needs to be out. And this needs to be out multiplied by 18. And now we get what we want. Alright. The guy wanted to see the mod 1 on N64. I'll just show it real quick. This is on a real N64. This is my Everdrive. 
Wait, I think this is really loud. There you go. At a beautiful frame rate too. Normally Mario 64 is locked to 30 FPS, so if you want that for the more consistent frame rate, you can do that too. It does always look a lot more dark on console. It could also be from the capture gun, but I think it's just in console it's more dark. Well, and I mean, it's arguable that 30 FPS looks better than like 45. Right, so that's why there's an option. On default, it's stuck at 30, just because it, uh, it's more consistent frame rate. It will feel better, I think. Right, so this is like, yeah, easily runs, no problem. And it's much more complex levels than the original game, too. This level, I think, has 2,500 polygons on Ball and Battlefield has, I think, 1,070. Steam Link, whenever 40 hertz mode, 35 and 40 FPS and flaming using it. 40 FPS? I have no idea how 40 FPS is supposed to look good with this game. The problem with 40 FPS will be that internally the timing will be um, stuck to 30 FPS, right? And then the 40 FPS that will be like weird in between frames that don't physically exist. Right, that would mean it renders a new frame every 25 milliseconds. And I have, like, no, that just won't work. That's not even possible on N64 to privacy limit it to 40, unless you do some really fucky things. All right, let's go away with this. <clears throat> Stuttering at the top of the screen? That's probably from the capture card. You can improve it to make speed up running no longer viable in the base game. Oh, no. Most of the improvements I do, like, have the exact same output. So the player won't even tell it, be able to tell that anything's different. Like, the biggest impact I would have on speed running is that you no longer need camera manipulation to reduce lag. Yeah, backwards long jump definitely still works. I mean,. I mean, I can show you VLJ real quick. And obviously I've completely written the physics for my mod. So BLJ is a bit different. You can't clip through walls anymore. That was an issue in the original game. But like, when there's another wall, you can still just... Okay, you know what? <laughs> you need a better spot for that. But BLJ is still technically in. Okay, never mind, you can't BLJ for walls, but you can BLJ, trust me. <clears throat> but obviously, that's not a fix you need. <clears throat> and overall, I would expect the speedrun to be a minute faster if you just have consistent 30 FPS. I mean, the intro alone, you already saved like 5 seconds. I'm 
Wait, 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 Give us the record check if the player is going below or above a certain speed. Yes, but even at speed 5, that would cost bucks. Why would I do that? That's silly. Above speed 100 or 200. So to purposely allow skipping again? I mean, possible, <laughs> but it seems very silly. I'm not purposely breaking my code just to allow speedrun strategies. That seems a little bit ridiculous. Well, too bad you're gonna lose BLJs. Should have strapped them in harder. Yeah, exactly. You can still get the speed from BLJs. You just can't really do BLJs in ceilings like that because Mario is just going to sit down because Mario automatically crouches down below ceilings. There's going to be an in-game timer, so you don't need to separate MU and N64. I think they don't do that for Peach's Fury either, do they? I think they don't. Yeah, N64 and MO are just like on the same leaderboard. And both are competitive. Which is really, really nice. They are both exactly the same speed beat arc, so you just pick the one you like. I think there are going to be minuscule differences between N64 and MU, but I'm not sure of them. Like for example, Goombas are visible and they walk around at infinite distance on NC on emulator, but on N64 you need to be close enough to them. So a task playback won't be the same, but it should be imperceptible on actual game speed, like speedrunning speed.
<clears throat> Can I wait to set the manage version to console mode? Yes. But I wouldn't know. Like, I, someone would have to hack that in. <laughs> But it shouldn't be too hard. You can probably like a hex under the rem address and get that. I don't want to program that navy. I just have to run off. Programming them to actually cling onto ceilings is a bit much. That crosser was between X for fun reasons. No, no. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> previous comment. I see. Oh no, we're stuck again. Okay, now they should be worming to random locations, and by worming, I mean just like move towards it because they don't have an animation yet. Cool. You could just put a type of custom invisible collision plane that only squares a light path where once they go off the server they just snap onto the plane. Yeah. I mean obviously it's possible. I mean I could also just use the surface normal and have them rub around that way. But I still don't want to program that. What are you doing? What the fuck? Oh well, their turning speed is way too low. For one. He must go to his planet. They need them. They're missing this quickly. Oh right, I also accidentally set opacity still. Oh, and they turned around from what they should be. He did not have physics set. <laughs> what the hell am I listening to? Is this the big mighty pool but in Mario Rabbits? He's 
going a bit too slow, I think. Yeah, he could be faster. Alright, let's try to make a walk animation here. Wait, I gotta look something up real quick. Did the bird use FedEx too? It does, okay, good. What about the prana? Also FedEx too, okay. I feel like this is not how worms work. What am I missing? Let's see. I could do worm walk. Oh shit! No, I need the stereotypical one. It's gotta be a clip art, I think. Mainly decom, holy shit. Okay. Let's 
So how do I do this better? This has to look like it's anchoring with the front part. Maybe, maybe the front needs to come off, uh, the back needs to come off the floor. I mean, I think the end animation is good, just the way it goes to this is bad. Inchworm? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think that's the word I was looking for, yeah. Hmm. This just looks wrong because it's the same back and forth. Yeah, I can't make the head stay still with this armature. I would need to add one animation bone. I mean, possible, but... That should definitely stay flat on the ground. Alright, fine. We're adding an animation bone. Translate rotate bone for real. Why? Okay, I got rid of it. Why is this a geo this playlist? Oh well. Whatever. This actually can be a geo this playlist. Do I need to make this an animated part first and then reset? And then set this to dispersed? I do. All right, this should work now. Alright, time to redo the animation. Oh yeah, we used to have a butterfly tree too at my parents' house. They're fun. I bet Zena wants one too.
maybe, maybe when it does this, the head should go slightly up. And that's how it works. In that case, this needs to be an animator part again. It's probably better to have this be an animator part anyway. Just for expressions. Pain. What's the clamping made for? Romek. That could work. Let's put the mesh below so we see better what's going on. Does that look like it's moving? doesn't actually touch the back with its bone here. I like that. Oh, now you miss bio back, huh? Fuck, I put to bomb on Battlefield again. Ah, I keep doing this. Lost and found, what? The entirety of Wikipedia? Where do you even find that? But how much data was it? I heard somewhere that like 70% of the data on the internet is literally just porn. And honestly, I believe it. Eighty two gigabytes? That seems awfully small. Okay, we definitely need to scale this with movement speed. Seven is still pretty small.
And we should make it so that he actually only moves during the actual movement portion of this. And same for rotation. I think that will look a lot better. So from 100 to 200. Same for the move angle jaw. Hello, Pat Kenki. I am very hydrated. Thank you, Lita. That is great. I love this. He needs to cap his max speed. All right. Eighty five and a hundred sixty. Shouldn't it be min? Nope. What do you think of Super Mario RPG and Mario 64 Romic? Um could look cool. I mean I have a Mario RPG sub area here for the retro pipes and it looks very nice. Hey Bardino. It's like a god. Uh dog. Yes. Did I do the brackets wrong? What is going on?
This is suffering. I am suffering. I hate this. Uh. These fucking brackets. Oh my god, I'm gonna go crazy. There we go. Will there be a Mario Kart retro pipes? Yes, there will be a SNES Mario Kart retro pipe. Yes, just do it. I had enough water I drink just before you redeemed that. I used to do that too, Davey, but it's not good. There, I drink water. Now I'm overfilled with water. Hmm. Let's see how this works out. This might already be everything we need. Hmm. Cool. <sighs> Mario World Retro, we're getting ready Yoshi. We already have a Mario World Retro 5, and there's no Yoshi in there. I don't know why they do that when they're home alone. There's something wrong with them being home alone here. Right, someone said this should be min, and yes, it should have been min. I messed that up. No, I said that was right, and somehow I didn't realize. Interesting. I see. Here we go. <laughs> I 
All right, Davy. <laughs> Ah, oh, shit. Last buck, I swear. After this, they will be perfect. I am fairly confident. Well, they were supposed to run away from Mario after that. The Wiggler is not racist now. Hello, bio back. I think I added an L. There can be a baby Wigma here. It's not like they're very fierce enemies or anything. They're just cuties. No, I, I like Jen no, targeting Mario directly. I think this is good. Cuties which I killed? Yes. Thank you for noticing. Alright. Dead the sim is spelling. Ah, forward velocity. I guess it's forward velocity, not forward velocity. Got it. I think our squigglers are perfect now. You know I hate video games biomech. Why would you think I play that? Wait, did he? He dropped five coins and then another five? Where did five coins come from? Oh, from the leaf pile. Yeah. There we go. Let me just check if the double bounce is still a thing. There we go. So only half egg collision? Yes. There's no necessity for X-ray boxes. I mean, it's possible. But that's just not necessary. Right, the rest shouldn't hurt you either. And I feel like bouncing off the rest would be weird because it doesn't do any damage and he's just still baby. Man, everything in this level just gives you five coins. That's not what's supposed to happen. Wait a second, did I mess up the pronouns? Hmm? It's 
Something weird's happening here. That worked fine. to be three or four. Same for the Wiggler. Okay. I think we got it now. Nope, I cannot just do it. That was a commission I did. And coins are for one other coin source. That's it. And maybe costumes in the overworld. Anyway, I'm done for the day. We made good progress. The Wiggler is a cutie, and I'm very happy with how he turned out. He's, he's very animate, very personality driven. I'll see you guys next stream. Bye bye.